The most unique, smooth, swift, powerful and amazing box I have tried and tested so far. It is expandable and very adaptable. It was much anticipated and now one of the most trending and hot selling box. It provides a new way to stream and enjoy movies and TV shows on your big screen. Guys, it has a dual boot ROM. It has some real impressive reviews and amazing specs. The Vim 2 Max TV box by Kadas. Guys, I have the 64 gigabyte model in my hands and wow, it's a beauty. Hi guys, I'm Leah and welcome back to yet another video on Glamour Gadgets and Gaming by Leah. Guys, you may find some other videos on the tube of this box, but I will try my best to keep this one slightly more consumer friendly and I shall concentrate mainly on the TV box features. So this box comes in three different versions. You have a choice of the Basic, Pro and Max and of course I have purchased the best one out the lot, the Max. To be honest guys, I was a little apprehensive about purchasing this one. It looked a little unusual in the pictures, a little more of an inner shell needing a casing or something, but I am so glad I bought this one. So this box guys has many awesome and unique features and it supports varied softwares. It supports Android Nougat 7.1, Ubuntu 16.04 and later versions. It has Docker which allows you to build apps Libre Embedded Linux Entertainment Center, so now the Libre Elec, and Build Root OS, which allows embedding Linux easier. Further, guys, it features RSDB, which is Real Simultaneous Dual Band. This allows the Vim 2 and other devices to transmit and receive data over two bands at the same time. Guys, this box features WAL, haha, <laughs> and I love this word. WAL stands for Wake Up Over LAN. This basically allows you to power on or wake up the Vim 2 remotely over LAN. So now this is via an app or web page, meaning you can use your smartphone or tablet to turn on or wake up this Vim 2 box. That's awesome guys that's some awesome technology for more information on this guys um you can check out the cadas forums and web pages so guys why limit yourself to a tv box with restricted hardware with this cadas vim 2 you have the ability to expand your hardware and add cool new modules that grant additional features like tv tuner bluetooth 4.2 and who knows even expand the ram and internal storage maybe so guys, before I unbox this, just a very quick look at the features that may be unrelated to the TV box. So they call it an open source development box. It's expandable and adaptable for change. You can use it solely as a computer board, use it as a headless server, or even cluster computing, or better as a brain for robotics. Guys, all this sounds very unrelated to what I have bought this box for, but I guess it definitely will be of use for many of you out there. So I've got my hands on this box a couple of weeks ago and I've thoroughly tried and tested it. And those of you who may be comparing it to the Raspberry Pi 3B, check out the comparison on the screen in front of you guys. And as you can see, it highly supersedes the Raspberry. So the Kadas Vim 2 is very highly specced with a unique look and exceptional performance. And today I'm going to share with you the unboxing, test and review of the much-awaited Vim 2 Max TV box by Kadas which has 2 times 2 MIMO Wi-Fi gigabit LAN wall and as I mentioned earlier this is the massive 64 gigabyte version so guys let's not waste any more time uh, I've done a lot of talking already let's just check out what's in this box so in this beautiful expensive looking packaging we have ta -da! we have just a cable Uh, we have some features, specs here. Ladies and gents, I present to you the Vim 2 Max TV box by Kadas. Now wait there guys, it's slightly different looking to all the other fancy case boxes we are used to seeing. Don't forget it has many other useful features as I've mentioned earlier. This one is a compact box in an attractive acrylic case. Very transparent. You can see right through it. 
guys it's very thin very light and as you can see it has like the dimensions of a credit card i don't have one to hand but i will i have compared it check it out so guys let's just quickly check out the ports and slots so here we have one two usb slots hdmi slot ethernet port I believe that's where this uh, adapter goes, so this charging adapter goes into this. And underneath here is where you can insert the SD card, a micro SD card guys. So guys, this is the USB-C charging cable. This cable allows you to charge the box and also transmit data at a much faster rate. And then here guys, now that's where you get the LED light, so the white and the red LED light here. And here guys you have three buttons now we have the reset button a function key and the power key here and at the bottom here guys we've got some ventilation strips to keep the box cool here's the s912 chip there lots of little chips and boards in there guys this here guys it's a 40 pin 2.54 millimeter header this is for you DIY guys who may want to expand this box and play around with it. It's an open source development box guys. So yes, lots of plus points to it. So as I mentioned earlier guys, this is a very highly specced box. Check out the specifications on the screen in front of you. So this Vim 2 Max box by Kadas has an S912 octa-core CPU running at 1.5 gigahertz. The GPU is a Mali T820, 3GB DDR4 RAM, 64GB internal storage. Now that is massive. Android version 7.1.2, guys. This is the Android 7.12 Nougat. 2 times 2 MIMO dual band Wi Fi AC with RSDB, as I've mentioned earlier. Bluetooth version 4.2. It supports ultra hd 4k videos at 60 frames per second and it also supports hdmi v2.0 and hdr10 so this vim 2 max by kadas guys unfortunately doesn't come with a remote control nor does it come with a keyboard or mouse so i'm gonna now be using this you guys may have seen this before yes i've used it in many of my videos with my tv boxes it's a wireless keyboard it's a bluetooth wireless keyboard that here simply pop this into the usb port so that connects this wireless keyboard to uh, your tv box and you can control the tv box via this so you can uh, change the channels you can browse the net beautiful mouse here and it has a lot of advantages to it guys i prefer this to any remote control especially when using a android tv box so guys check out the links in the description below for this you can easily get your hands on this for a couple of quid or a couple of dollars and it goes a long way okay guys so let's get down to business i will now connect the box to my tv and come right back sharing with you some antutu benchmark wi-fi gaming 4k videos and hd streaming tests okay guys so let's start off with a quick boot test let's see how long it takes for the box to turn on Okay guys, so check that, just under 17 seconds to boot up. That's much faster than most of the Android TV boxes that I've been reviewing lately. Okay guys, so check out the home screen in front of you, as you can see. We do have more of a pure Android desktop look. Okay guys, so let's check out the apps we get as standard on this system, as you can see in front of you. On the screen we have Google Play Store, the official Google Play Store app. We've also got Google Chrome, etc. Guys, you've got a Super SU, like I mentioned earlier, do not update this. This just shows that the box comes rooted as standard. Very quickly, let's have a look at the system storage, guys. Guys, so as you can see, this box has 64 gigs of storage, and currently we have 54 gigs available to use. 
Guys, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, this box comes with Android version 7.1.2. So here we have it in front of you. Okay guys, so enough said. Let's just sit back, relax and check out exactly how this box performs. We're going to do a few YouTube tests, 4K video, online streaming, gaming, etc. So let's begin. the mosaic of the Camp Nou and the Barcelona hymn being sung as referee Matteo Loff prizing Okay guys, so that was amazing. That was 4K videos. Now let's just check out some YouTube and this box runs a maximum of 1080p YouTube videos. I'm freaked out. I'm having nightmares that I'm being chased by these giant robotic oh, claws. Whatever, of death. we're done. We're done. Robot's memory synced and locked. This is 327. I'm going in. Good luck, Agent. Okay guys, and now my favourite bit, we're going to test out a few games. Okay guys, so I've just run a Wi-Fi test and as you can see in front of you, the download speed is 12 megabits per second and the upload speed is 9 megabits per second. Okay guys, so now we come to the part that we've all been waiting for, the Antutu benchmark score. And as you can see in front of you guys, it scored an amazing 41,287 score. Okay guys, so that was the Vim2 Max TV box by Kadas. Guys, in summary, I feel this box is worth a go. It has an amazing amount of features and specs. I guess it has a few kinks. Uh, I guess I was expecting a higher Wi-Fi speed outcome. I have 40 megs of broadband, which usually achieves at least 25 to 30 megabits per second speed. Maybe I can blame my little nephews on this one. They have been glued to the PlayStation 4 all day today. But honestly speaking, guys, this low Wi-Fi score has not affected the performance of this box. I have been able to stream movies and TV shows without any buffer or issues. Another thing guys I was thinking, a little heat sink or a fan module could have been included. Although I have not experienced any overheating, I believe this should have been a standard component. Guys, it's an open source box, so I guess we have plenty of room to play around, add and remove the desired modules. Overall, I am impressed with this Vim2 Max TV box by Kadas. Super crisp 4K video playback, no jitters or lag in the online streaming, browsing and gaming. Decent for the price too, considering it does more than the standard TV boxes. So I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. What do you think, guys? Share your thoughts. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. Do like, share and subscribe. And guys, wait there. Do look out for the giveaway. I will be announcing soon on my Twitter account two lucky winners who will be the owners of two techie prizes. Okay guys, so that's me done for now. Look out for my next video for more top tech. Till then guys, take care. Bye.